only Zula King. So I ball so hard, motherfuckers wanna find me. The first nigga gotta find me. What's 50 grand to a motherfucker like me? Can you please remind me? Ball so hard, this shit crazy. Y'all don't know that don't shit face. And that's Cut, it off. Oh, Cut the song off, sir. Thank you. Yeah, let me tell y'all something. Cut it short, we ain't got a lot of time tonight. All right? Stupid people are alive and well, you hear me? Well, I'm sick of it, man. Listen, I had a cousin, a 13-year-old cousin that had a baby. So we were real proud of her. I'm gonna let it sink in for all y'all who ain't catching. We went to the hospital to check on her to see how everything was going. We walk in the room, she in there raising all kind of H-E-double-L. Yeah. Soon as we walk in the room, I'm ready to get up out of here. These people gonna make me hurt them. They were supposed to bring my baby in here, wash my baby, clean my baby, bring my baby back to me. I'm the mama, I'm supposed to be the one to give that, that my baby a name. They gonna mess around and bring my baby back with a name. How you gonna name somebody else baby? <laughs> what you talking about? You can't name nobody else, baby, with it. Yeah, they gonna name my baby, then they gonna name us some old ghetto name like for Molly. <laughs> Look down at that wristband. Heifer, this wristband say female. <laughs> you need to think about adoption. Take this baby and set her on the curb and wish her the best of luck. She gonna be better off like that than being raised by your little ignorant behind. Call the doctor back in here and tell him to cut every two PC. I ain't got a lot of time now. Listen, everybody in here either know somebody or kin to somebody with a nasty house. Some of y'all can't say nothing right now. Cause you in here with the person who got the nasty house. I know cause I saw your face when I said it. I saw your eyes, y'all were like, you talking about this fool right here. You know what kill me about people who got a nasty house? They got the most hospitality in the world, don't they? Soon as you get up on the porch, they, y'all come on in. You want something to eat? You want something to drink? You be standing like, I don't even want to breathe in here. Eating, drink, hell. Got rats big as dogs. Soon as you pull up in the driveway, the rats outside barking like dog. <laughs> That's a funny looking, what kind of dog is that? Let the kids stay in the car, let the kids stay in the car. And when you get up to a people nasty house, you got that one spot. Try to find that one spot you can halfway tolerate. Usually it's on the edge of a chair. You don't sit all the way on that chair neither. Cause you don't know what's in that crease. Mess around, take something home. Now you got the nasty house. You understand what I'm saying? And when you get on the edge of that chair, you don't really be in no comfortable position. But when you get to it, you try to stay real still. And the only thing you move. is your eyes. And you start looking around, and you start noticing stuff. And I look over here, I see ants. And look over here, see roaches. Look up yonder, I see spiders. And I saw something in my peripheral. How you say it? How you say it? That. I saw something in my peripheral run out of the refrigerator. I don't know exactly what it was, but I know it had on some boots. I don't know, I know. I saw them damn boots, I saw them. And in seeing all this, you get what I call the heebie-jeebies. That's when your skin just don't feel quite right. And it seems like clockwork when you get the heebie-jeebies 
a piece of dust, a string or something, mess around, land on your neck, you be like, ah! Get your stuff, get your stuff, get your stuff. Hey, love God, love yourself. I'm Sula King. I'm up out of here. Love y'all, come to Comedy House. I'm out. <laughs>